Welcome back to our channel. I'm Julie, keeper of my home, and this is the keeper's husband, <laughs> Joe. Today we are going, I'm, I'm going to say we, this gal is going to do the filming. He is going to make something uh, that, I don't know, it's kind of made up. He makes a really great Salisbury steak. And we usually have it with whipped potatoes and carrots or, you know, some type of vegetables, usually carrots. Um, this time, though, we're going to shake it up a little bit and do something a little bit different. Go figure. <laughs> we never do that, right? <laughs> we're going to uh, make it into a pot pie form. So we're going to make one to have for dinner tonight, and then we're going to... Um, Put one away to have in the freezer so I'm, I'm thinking that's how we're gonna do it right now um, I think I think what what we have for ingredients we have enough to make two so we're gonna do that so I'm gonna let him get started this is the cast of characters we have ground beef we have ketchup we have packets of Lipton onion soup mix we also have cream of mushroom soup French onion soup, salt, pepper, Worcestershire, dry mustard, we have some mushrooms, breadcrumbs, and french fried onions. Sound delicious? Just keep watching. It gets better. The recipe calls for canned mushrooms, but I'm going to use fresh sliced mushrooms, which will work. This recipe actually calls for um, one small can or jar of mushrooms. But like he said, he's using fresh and he is also doubling the recipe because we have two pounds of ground beef and the recipe actually calls for one pound. We're doubling it so we can have one for tonight and put one away for later on. We're just gonna put it in a dish like I'd shown you and um, just cover it with foil and put it in the freezer. That is a really good thing to do. When you're making meals and you want to, um, I mean, if you're gonna put time and effort into making one meal and you have enough on hand to do two, double it, make two, put one away for later. So it's just really a time saver. This is half a cup of ketchup. Just regular ketchup, can be no brand, can be regular brand. Doesn't make any difference. Just use some ketchup. Now the, uh, again, we are doubling this recipe, so keep that in mind. The actual original recipe is a quarter of a cup, but this is one half cup of ketchup. Okay, quarter cup of water. Add that in, mix it all in good. and a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire really gives things a great flavor and something we put in a lot of our recipes. Not the easiest thing to say or spell, but it tastes good. Uh, next thing we need is a half a teaspoon of mustard powder. So again, I'm gonna repeat myself, we're doubling this, so. All right, and then we're gonna add a can of cream of mushroom soup, two cans for this recipe. This is just regular Campbell's cream of mushroom soup, undiluted. If you wanna use the store brand soup, that works too. You just wanna make sure it's undiluted. To just give that a little bit of a stir after we get our soup in there. Just mix it all up together. And then we're going to add our mushrooms.
All right, now we are putting in an envelope of Lipton onion soup mix. We're also gonna add a couple tablespoons of flour. And you're just gonna add this all up. The flour is used to thicken this gravy. I'm gonna get it all mixed in really good because you don't want clumps in your gravy. Okay, while Joe is cooking the burger part of this, this is, like I said, this is the gravy that he mixed up. I am going to set this out in the cooler and just let it stay cool until he's ready to use it. fried onions, one whole can of Campbell's French onion soup, salt and pepper, and we thoroughly mix this all up together. Get your fingers in there. And I am slicing up, or chopping up, dicing carrots because we are going to, like I said, do pot pie version. So I want to dice carrots to put in with this. So they're going to cook a lot faster if they're diced up and it's just going to be a little bit better inside the, the pot pie in smaller bite sized pieces. We have some peas in our freezer that need to be used, so I think we'll also add some peas to this pot pie as well. Peas and carrots will go good together. I've got this meat mixture all mixed up here and I'm next going to put it in the frying pan and get it cooked up. Normally I'd be making this burger into patties, like a Salisbury steak patty, but we're doing something different. Like Julie said, we're going to do a uh, kind of a pie or a casserole with it. It's just something we've tried for the first time. Hopefully it'll come out well. We're always changing recipes around and doing new things. It's fun to try different things experiment and 
Sometimes they come out well and sometimes they don't. I'm adding a second can of the French's French onion soup, excuse me. And I'm also adding another packet of the onion soup mix. Now we're gonna let this cook up and Julie's still cutting up carrots to put in this. She'll put them on the stove and let them cook up and then we'll put this together. All right, the carrots are on the stove. And we'll get those boiling up. We are not using the cook stove because it's really warm outside. Our snow is melting. Like I said, it's nice and warm. And I love melting snow. I love the sound of it. I love the thought of it. I love it all. I just took uh, clothes off the clothesline. I've been hanging clothes all weekend and I'm telling you, I'm loving this weather. It won't be long before we can be out here on this porch spending nights and just having great family time because this is where we live in the summer. Totally live out here. We sleep out here. TV is out here. Everything. And by TV, I mean large movie screen and projector. <laughs> All summer. It's great. these into this bowl these are already whipped mashed potatoes that we had gotten there's a nonprofit here that in our area that we get some things from sometimes they have food uh, different stuff it's called Catholic Charities of Maine and they were giving out really big bags of whipped potatoes. You can throw them in the freezer, um, whatever you want to do. And we had, I mean, it's a big bag. So we'd use some of them, but obviously we couldn't use them all. Um, it's quite a bit. So this is what, one of the reasons why we decided to make this dish into a pot pie version, because we thought, hmm, this would really work quite well. <laughs> for using up these potatoes that need to be used up. Okay, and this is also from them, some sour cream. A huge tub of sour cream and it's it's still filled to here and I feel like we've been using it quite a bit. I've gotta get a, something to stir it. 
sometimes liquid forms on the top of it. You really need to stir it up and get it mixed. Okay, let this all stir it up. And I'm gonna add some of this sour cream to the potatoes. Oh, we'll add probably quarter cup, third of a cup. Off. Cover that and I'm going to mix it in. I think Joe plugged me in. Yep, yeah, he did. All right. You can add salt and pepper to this, which I am definitely going to do. This is definitely one of the ways that you can make the most of what you have. You know, this is not, this is totally made up recipe. I mean, kind of, sort of. This is not how we typically make this dish. And it's a dish that he makes quite often, but um, I, I like to utilize what we have on hand. We had the sour cream, we had the potatoes, uh, we had the carrots that needed to be used. It's the last of our carrots. Um, we have peas in the freezer that need to be used. And peas and carrots really go well with this dish. I'm not a pea fan. I don't mind it inside something. So this will work. Uh, these french fried onions, he is going to probably sprinkle some more of those on on the casserole when we when we get this pot pie casserole uh, when we get it together so I'll let him do that we're just really figuring this out as we go <laughs> so no formula here just flying by the seat of our pants which is pretty much what we usually do <laughs>
paint mixture in the bottom of the pan here. This is something similar to a shepherd's pie. You know how they usually say, wish we had smell-o-vision? Well, <laughs> wish we had smell-o-vision for you guys. This <laughs> smells so good. <laughs> smells really, really good. So we are just, we, he's going to layer this uh, casserole, this pot pie, just like a shepherd's pie, really, like you said. Uh, he's just going to layer it. He's going to put the meat mixture at the bottom. He's going to put the vegetables. I, I'm thinking he's adding French fried onions. I'm not sure. And I don't know that he's sure at this point either. Um, here he goes. We're going for it. <laughs> and then we're going to add potatoes on the top. Looks really good. I'm glad you came with talent. Now we can add our vegetables, peas and carrots. I suppose you could use whole kernel corn, even cream style corn if you wanted. Really, any vegetable. Because you're really just making a meal and uh, you know combining it. I know there are those people that don't like um, their stuff mixed together. So, uh, but you know whatever you could just strictly use carrots if you didn't like peas, or could add green beans. Those would be really well. Which is really honestly what I thought about doing was adding green beans. Those are what I like. He likes peas and carrots, and we don't often eat peas, so it's nice to have those in here. That's good. We probably don't need all of those. Okay, we are just putting on the layer of gravy. The potatoes will go on top of the gravy mixture. This is full, full, full. I don't think one more thing can be put into this pan. I don't even know if all of this can be put into this pan. I don't think we should attempt this. Let's go. I'm gonna try it here. Some of that gravy go down in. I'm doing crisis management here. I'm pulling the meat mixture away from the sides to let some of that gravy fall down in because it's uh, overflowing here. We're gonna put some of this potato on here. Doesn't that look nice? Okay, we're gonna go ahead and fix the other one and get it into the oven. And then we will return. Okay, so we just pulled this out of the oven. And I'm gonna tell you, the first one that we froze, we didn't, we put um, the gravy in that and put the potatoes on top. This one, we did not add the gravy. We cooked the gravy separate. Um, there's mushrooms in there, fresh mushrooms. We cooked the gravy so the mushrooms would cook and just let this simmer for a bit, 15, 20 minutes. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this out, put it into a bowl, and we're gonna add the gravy on top of it. The one that we froze, there was so much gravy and it just, overflowed the pan and uh, so we're going to try to avoid that and see how the potatoes didn't brown but you can see where they're it, they did form a nice crust on there so 
everything smells delicious and it looks delicious and I'm sure it will taste delicious as well. Doesn't that look good? Jesus, for this food you set before us, please bless this food. Please help it to nourish and strengthen our bodies. We thank you for the many blessings each and every day, Lord Jesus. We pray this in your sweet name. Amen. Amen. Okay, so this won't win the Prettiest Dish Award, but let's see if it wins the best taste. good. I mean, it tastes just like you're eating the meal, but you're eating it all in one bite. I mean, not the whole meal, but like all of your stuff, your vegetables and your meat and your potatoes all in one bite. I like it. I hope you make this dish, and if you do, I hope you enjoy it. So we're going to go ahead and finish eating our dinner, and we'll see you in the next one.